All right, it is a first alert weather day and our team coverage continues in Oxford, one of the places hardest hit and where police say two people are missing after they were swept away by flooding along Little River. That's where we find Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler this morning. Olivia, what's the latest? Tracy, right now the search is on for those two individuals. The fire chief here in Oxford tells us one person was in their car, the other was clinging onto a sign before being swept away by those heavy and really rapid flooded waters. Behind me here, this is a part of Little River. This is stream you can see not only is it moving really quickly, but you can also hear how strong the water is. But take a quick walk with me this way. We're standing in the parking lot of a local Mexican restaurant here in Oxford, and you can see that the entire parking lot is completely washed out. Once again, going to show just how strong and high these flooded waters came. Some of their light posts also down here as well. Now, flooding is a major concern this morning with it being dark out and the sun coming up. It's still something you need to be aware of. If you can't see the road in front of you, it's a clear sign of stuff and turn around. Our first alert meteorologists report just one foot of water is enough to lift a car off the ground. And that's exactly what Chaz Bradley is seeing this morning. The tow truck driver we spoke to a few minutes ago says he's been working working since 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon and has loaded up about a dozen cars. Just on this road alone, it looked almost like an apocalypse. There are cars stranded everywhere. It has gone down some. There are some of the secondary roads that are still pretty bad. Here in Oxford, heavy downpours have closed Route 188, Holes Hill Road, and Edmonds Road. Route 34 is closed at Laughlin Road. And surrounding towns, including Southbury, and Sonio and Seymour, are also reporting several roads being shut down. Now, the Oxford Fire Department is working hard this morning to find those two individuals who are still missing at this point this morning. They are working around the clock, answering calls to make sure that everyone living in this area and around it can stay safe. We're live in Oxford, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.